so, all right, so you were talking about Avatar. Yeah, okay. I I normally don't like talking about uh, movies when referring to spirituality because movies are fake. Right. But uh, Avatar is really, really good. It's a good representation. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me preface this by saying yeah. movies, I've always felt, speak a little bit to our spirit though because they're made by humans yeah okay and humans have imagination and our imagination comes from where we don't know where yeah. you know so in my eyes it's always been we know more than we think we know or more than we realize we know yeah deep down inside we know things that we don't know we know so they come out that those things come out in our imagination yeah and so men make these movies all right, so Avatar is a really good representation of one man's idea of um, what, death, life after well, death. Um, okay, um, the way they view death on Avatar, the the aliens on Avatar, it is death isn't bad. It, it's not something we strive for. They strive for anything like that. But when something dies, they don't waste it. Much like our Native Americans. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, I noticed a lot of similarities yeah. to the Indians. Yeah. It, I, 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 I do believe death is a good thing. I, I don't. It's not a bad thing. A bad I've learned. Thing. I've come to it, accept. It is part of life. Much as it hurts. The, yeah. Um, and as much as I didn't understand Ladon's death. Yeah. Um, I've un, I've come to understand that it, life, uh, death is just a part of life. It's yeah, a transition. It's, it's not a, a bad thing. It's not an end. Right. It is a, just another beginning. Right. For them. For them. It's a loss for us. Yes. But that's that's a part of living is loss. Accepting the loss, yeah. So. True. So that's another lesson. Yeah. And another so thing anyway, about Avatar, Avatar they, is uh, the way they connect things when they physically connect to it. You know. Yeah, like the their, tree? Or? Yeah. And they can... I didn't understand that really. I need to watch yeah, that movie uh, again a the, few times. Yeah. Um, when they connect to another person, that's how they become intimate. Necessarily. Oh yeah, because they actually like connected yeah. their hair but, uh, or whatever yeah. tentacles. <laughs> I believe we can do that, just not physically. Right, spiritually. Yeah, and I think we do that all the time when we're just like like right now when we're sitting here talking. We, right. we connect on a deeper level than just sitting here talking. Right. And often we'll have conversations, you and I. Yeah. Where yeah. we'll feel the energy start to just build in the room <laughs> yeah. and it's like wow yeah. that's really intense because you get up on that level yeah and I, and I remember I told you about me and Cody that one time holding our hands like you know yeah, 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 yeah. and we could literally feel the energy flowing between our fingertips yeah and that was powerful because there is that connection that yeah it e really whether is. it's physical biological or it's, spiritual it's both. um it's electricity. Our our spirit, so our I mean, consciousness, so electricity would give off. is physical, but yeah. it's also sp would, it's spiritual. spiritual. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, spirit is uh, simply energy, and that's yeah. our energy. The the earth is alive, and itself has a magnetic field. Right. It en electricity energy. It, it's the same energy thing. Energy encompasses the universe. Exactly. And see, in my view, that energy is God. Yeah. Um, yeah. We yeah. go back to the labels. We were yeah, talking uh, about yeah, not liking yeah, we were labels. Yeah, talking about not liking labels. <laughs> I, I hate the term God. But, yeah. And me too. But like I said, that's the only way I've ever come to know him. And then yeah. there's the him. <laughs> the pronoun. Yeah. I hate using a pronoun. But I don't want to call him it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's more divine than that. It's more personal yeah. than that. So back to Avatar, didn't they have some, they, they, there was something on that level with the energy that they connected with. Yeah. What was with the tree? The tree? Oh, I don't, I don't, the main thing <laughs> you don't I know got any from Avatar, than I, I mean, like, I, I do, I mean, like, mo, uh, uh, like the, uh, the other videos we were earlier talking about the pineal gland produced DMT. Oh yeah, uh, what was his what was his name? Uh, something Waters. 
uh, Infinite Waters? Infinite Waters okay, yeah. on YouTube we were watching, and he yeah. was talking about the third eye opening. Yeah. The reasons why you shouldn't open your third eye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, Sarcasm. <laughs> I come to find out. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I don't get... His form of sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, the way that, okay. The pineal they gland. Connect, yeah, they connected to the, uh, the plants. And a lot like the way, I, I do believe we can possibly do it sometime in the, the distant future. There's no way, like, our pineal gland is so small now, it wouldn't, we, we would no, no way be able to do it anymore. But I do believe we once were able to connect with all living things, plants, animals, insects, everything. I do believe to but have a consciousness. Telepathy wise, or uh, I wouldn't even say telepathy, but like just understanding, like one uh, each other, one another, and yeah. like. Well, I mean, I, I like, feel like I and, do connect with a well, lot yeah, of it. Yeah, but like <laughs> we wouldn't communicate through speech anymore either. Like it would yeah, well, be telepathy, but be it telepathy. would be more than telepathy because like you wouldn't just think. What I was thinking. You wouldn't you even thinking. say words you, you because you just it. know. Yeah, yeah. Feel it. Feel I it. like that. Yeah. Yeah. But um. Um, that's more empathic. Yeah. 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 Uh, but the way I was saying is, uh, their connection with the plants and everything. The way that I had a connection, we can have that connection, but it would be through our pineal gland or a third eye, it, because it produces DMT, the spirit molecule. The, the pineal. The pineal. The pineal, pineal gland. gland. Oh, also. It, yeah. yeah. Um, is what produces DMT? Yes. And also your cel serotonin and melatonin. Serotonin. Serotonin, sorry. Oh, serotonin. So yeah, your okay. serotonin and melatonin. Okay. Huh. So since our pineal gland is also strong, that's why a lot of people have disorders where they... Insomnia, for instance. <laughs> yeah. Because the pineal gland is not... As big as it should be, it should be almost the size of an eyeball. But oh, it isn't. How big is it? It's about the size of like a peanut or a walnut. raisin. Maybe it's really small now. I mean, you have to get it, you know, some kind of like hmm. CAT scan or something. I don't know. You get a brain brain scan. What do they call those? I don't know. <laughs> CAT scan. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is everybody? But, uh, I mean, everybody's just different it, a little be bit then to, to a certain our, extent. Our exposure to the, uh, different chemicals, you know, throughout life, we all get exposed and to And everybody's individual the world. biology or whatever. And that too, so yeah. there's some differences yeah. in size. Yeah. Just like we all have a different size of brain, you know, we find all together. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Well, that's interesting. But yeah. that w that so that is the what do I you think call the how... portion of the brain? What do you call it? Um, I, the, I think this would be like the, the thing that, that connects us to our consciousness. That would be spiritually yeah. connecting us then. Yeah, and I believe if it was the you know the size it's supposed to be, we we would be so much more awake. It's the only thing I can think to describe it. It's just... Yeah. Yeah, and the things we would be able to do, like people saying, being able to use 100% of your brain, I believe that this, that has something to do with your pineal gland not being its correct size. Because we used to be able to do all kinds of crazy shit. Like yeah, levitating. they say. <laughs> and like some people still can levitate. And remember everything, um, including their past lives. Yeah, what's his name in, in New York? Uh, Chris Angel? Oh, I, th those Chris are just Angel. illusionists. I'm talking no, about people in... Chris uh, Angel fucking levitates, man. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen him do it. <laughs> uh, I can't trust uh, illusionists, so... <laughs> but, like... He's beyond... Uh, he, he is also an illusionist, but he's beyond yeah, I, an he illusionist. Is. I believe that guy is very... He, he's something Enlightened, else. if that's what you want to call it. Yeah, um, he, he can do some crazy stuff. He has but. superhuman powers. <laughs> <laughs> so he claims. I, I don't know. It's, yeah. But. It's something I guess I would have to see in person. I've only seen videos, so it's yeah. different. Uh, I was going to do some weird shit. Um, so what was it that Koi Fresco was just talking about? The, um, oh, I don't remember. Oh, the goal in life. And it, uh, 
Uh, I hate the term goal. Like, I, well, uh, I was saying I couldn't yeah. imagine. F- I, I've I'm always never been a goal I've always person, felt so. that way that our only purpose was to to exist, to, to ex- experience, to, yes, to, experience to, to exist, appreciate the moment, yeah. to to live and learn, and not just exist but coexist. Right, to learn to love each other. Yeah, and not just help like one, one another. person and like the person you marry. No, everyone. No, yeah, like, help one even, another, take care of one another. Even people who you don't have an interaction with ever, like just that person you hold the door open for. Right, like we were talking yeah. about. Not not expecting to be told thank you. Yeah, but like. Just, it makes you, you feel good to do it because it's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And that's why you do it. Yeah. So, yeah, because he was talking about people expecting something in return for something they've done. Yeah. yeah. And now, I, yeah, I always said my happiest moments were moments of just being. Yeah. And it's so hard for me to put myself out there and include so many other people in, like, stuff like this because yeah. I just want to... See what each day brings and roll with the flow and <laughs> yeah uh, yeah i yeah. <clears throat> i've always and hated schedules and setting a goal uh, i've always hated right. setting goals and aiming for them it's always seems stupid well maybe me. that that speaks to what the other guy was saying then about infinite waters <laughs> was saying about when your third eye is open you don't want to work for the working man and yeah. You can uh, you but make any life you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um yeah. I don't know. Like I said I know I I've always had a vision for where my life's going and I've always just trusted that life would somehow get me there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um because you know I I love it because I communicate with this energy everyone wants to call God. Um and I don't feel like I have to make it happen. Yeah. You know, if it happens, it happens. I feel like it's going to happen. And if they're also find a way. <laughs> but, so, I don't know. I just, and then, uh, Coy Fresco was just talking about the, like, oh, ego. He was talking about your ego. Not being enough for your ego to yeah. just be, to just be happy in the moment. Like, you yeah. know, we're supposed to, he was saying, everybody wants more, 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 and thinking I've never understood that I've yeah. always said why you know yeah, everybody wants wanted, the like, the literally. biggest motorcycle the the best house the most money the nicest things and I'm like why it just, yeah. just I don't need all that yeah, like I said earlier, you know, uh, roof over my head <laughs> and you know anything, a little yard to play in room for my animals yeah, if anything uh <laughs> I would, I would say I wanted less, I guess, because like, I mean, I mean, when I was a kid, yeah, I, I wanted more, but like, when when I had money, I, I just blew it, because, I mean, I don't care for it. I mean, exactly. See, I've uh, always hated money, personally, yeah. and I've been in different marriages and different situations where I've had money and I've not had money, and it didn't seem to matter how much money we had, we were still always broke. Yeah. It just, just life was just we had more problems that we had more things we had more problems that's what it seemed like to me so i'm happy with you know just enough yeah the less the better (laughs) the simpler the plainer yeah i don't get it that people need 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 yeah that's why i choose to be so me and me and my ego simpler I don't know. I've never had a problem with my ego. I hear people talk about the ego being an awful thing, but... Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I I catch myself sometimes thinking about, like, I, I should have done something else with my life. I should have, you know, done... Actually, but... Uh, it's, I guess, would be the You're ego. You're young! Yeah, I know. <laughs> kinda. I'm getting pretty close to 30 now. That's still young. <laughs> I know, but I feel like I'm only halfway through my life. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, we find to be sixty. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't know. You don't say beyond sixty, really. I've never really thought about it. like we've talked about before. I've never really thought about being old. I don't. Yeah, we don't have know. talked about that before. I forget. And I'm, see, yeah, it, it's it's too far in the future for me to think about. It, I guess I don't know. I just never thought about it. And it, it's not like I know it scares me. In some me ways, or it seems it's like just, a long ways in the future, but it's really not. It's really not. And when I was a kid, I mean, I swear I was thirteen. Yeah. And I remember seeing myself as an old silver-haired lady. Yeah. And I figure I was about sixty years old. At least I always thought I'd be. I'd, 60 sounded pretty old to me, and I was silver-haired, so I thought I was 60. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> now that I'm 52, so 60 doesn't sound, like, totally silver-haired. Yeah. But I've found a few silver hairs, so <laughs> we'll see what the next eight years bring. <laughs> yeah, and eight years is nothing. I know. It's. Fr- I mean, eight years has just gone by for me. Yeah. Since Sid left. It's yeah. been eight years. And I'm like... That's so weird. And like every seven years goes by, it's been 21 years since LeDon died. Yeah. I'm like three volumes into my novel and now we're starting the year that will be not a part four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. And there's going to have to be a part four because I cannot end A Letter to Heaven with Eric in prison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And yet, it just like seven years gone. It's seven years gone. Yet? No, it's done. I've got it typed. I just have to like do a last edit and then format it into the six by nine size mm-hmm. and pay the hundred dollars for my ISBN and get it on Create Space. Okay. And I was going to try to do that in January, and then my goal was to do it. It was. I wanted to do it for Ladon's birthday, January fifth. That was that was my first publishing date. Yeah. <clears throat> Shit happened. Didn't have the money, so I determined February. I'd get it out in February. <laughs> uh, Didn't happen. <laughs> That's March. I've I've posted everywhere that it's going to be done in February. Now I got to go change it. I, I I hope I can get it done this month still. Yeah. I'm, I want to try. Um, God, I don't want. I have my hands in too many fires right now. I'm trying to. We've got to prepare for the trial. Yeah. I'm in the middle of doing interrogatories. That now my computer shut down earlier today, and I lost all my documents. And so now I've got to remember to pull all this shit back up that I was working on. And I got to finish those interrogatories. The motion to dismiss, that's how you got set two days before yeah. the trial date now. So we've got yeah. the, the hearing on the motion to dismiss on the 22nd, which in order to even go to that, I've got to be prepared to go to trial two days later if that doesn't yeah, exactly. go our way. So I still have to get all this shit done for trial. And then um, in the back of my mind, I'm still preparing for my exam that launches on the 30th. Yeah. That I feel like I should it's mostly the, uh, be prepared for having tried it once already. It's, the, it's ten days after the thirtieth, or it's when the class. No, starts? my my, I'm in the class right now. Okay, okay. Technically, yeah. there's just no assignments due. Okay. Until the exam launches on the thirtieth, and then I have seven days. Seven days. Okay. Short, a few hours. Uh, actually, short twelve hours. They give it. They give us the exam like eight o'clock the morning of. It should launch at midnight, but it doesn't. We can't get into it till eight a.m. Hmm. And then... It's probably about because that's the like, time they get there, I guess. The dead, deadline is midnight on the seventh day after that, though. Okay. So, like, they jip us out of 12 hours. But I feel like if, I had, if I'd have had that 12 hours, I might could have gotten the first one <laughs> done. I'd, I don't know. Probably not. I lost two days. Yeah. But I've also got, you know... Then, yeah, I want to get the book out. But I've, I'm... <laughs> A week and a half behind on Days of Our Lives still on my blog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've almost caught up with General Hospital. Um, and then at the same time I'm going, I need to go back on to Moonlighting and find a side job so I can get some money coming in. <laughs> I, yeah. You know, um, I've gone through all of my um, 
<laughs> SSI already and yeah. waiting on hopefully another chat support payment. <laughs> um, but I, I need to find some more work for the rest of the month because there's still like more than two weeks left in the month and yeah. no money left. Um, so yeah prioritizing you know doing the book even though I know it would only take like hours probably to finish editing it and formatting it um, I don't have the hundred dollars for the ISBN yet so yeah. I haven't felt the urgency to yeah. do that yeah. budgeting trying yeah. hoping other things keep taking priority <laughs> sadly yeah. um, unfortunately part one hasn't made me much money yet I I'm having a really hard time trying to figure out even what my royalties have been. Oh, yeah? Okay, like, the first year that I had it out, just as an e-book, actually, it wasn't even the first year. It was, like, a couple of years later, after yeah. I had put it out. I got a check for, like, $79 that said it was royalties. Yeah. And it was only published as an e-book at that time, so I knew that was from the e-book. Yeah. Um... That was four or five years ago. And I just published it in paperback in 2015, yeah. December. So it's only been out a little over a year. But all of last year, I mean, I'm sure something sold. I went on to um, create space. And they only show one paperback copy being sold. <laughs> But somehow I received from Amazon a check for 30, 31 something from digital and $4 and something in royalties for soft cover. Hmm. So, I don't know. I'm confused about what my, what my royalties are. When I run, I go to Amazon and run their little report thing. They only show like a $2 and $26 payment one single $22.26 payment to me. <coughs> they don't show anything <coughs> digitally. But that $31 <coughs> check I got was all digital royalties. Yeah. So, I can't <coughs> tell what's sold. Love it. Stop. I cannot tell what's sold. Yeah. I have no idea what I've even really made on that <laughs> thing, at, yeah. if anything at all. And I don't know why. Because I had people tell me they bought it or they're gonna buy it yeah and I know tons of people have looked at it <laughs> I don't know so yeah prioritizing part two has been a problem <laughs> I understand <laughs> what did I oh give me kisses no I get this you did get the children's book published, though, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> and you actually had a publisher for that one, right? Yeah, I went through Ex Libris on that one. Yeah. And I went to their site to see what sold. Because, like I said, I thought at first maybe that Amazon check was from my first week of that. It came that first week Yeah. after publishing that. So I go to Ex Libris Royalty Report, and they show one soft cover sold to Amazon. Amazon bought it? Yeah. Like, for their marketing page, I guess? Yeah, I don't know. But it's soft cover one. Why wouldn't they... I don't know. It's weird. I don't, yeah, I'm totally confused. <laughs> I have no idea whether my writings made me any money, will make me any money. I don't know. But I still feel the urge to do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's like, like putting myself out there is, you know, another thing altogether, but I still feel the urge to do it. It's yeah. something saying you have to do this. Um, so I'm doing it. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, good talk, Floyd. Thank yeah. you very much. We're okay. short of a half hour here, so I'm oh, going to really? stop oh, it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See how we just ramble on? Yep. <laughs> I love talking with you, man. <laughs>
All right, let's finish watching this video of Koi Fresco, and maybe we'll do another time. We'll just do a reaction video like we were talking about, okay. about one of the videos specifically. All right, thanks.